Hi guys, uh, Mike Rui here. Today, part two of uh, how to create a mission in Falcon BMS. Uh, in the first part, we talked about the basic uh, uh, setup to uh, frag a simple flight in a, in a mission. If you didn't uh, watch that video already, the link is in the description below. Um, let's get started. So, we reopen uh, our mission and we, what we want to do today is uh, to modify that uh, mission first a little bit more in the TE Baylor, so make it a little bit more realistic and uh, introduce more uh, stuff, uh, but not too complicated. And after that, uh, we uh, introduce a new tool, um, which is called Mission Commander, which is the third party tool from uh, yeah, Falkas. Um, let's go and uh, edit first our uh, test mission. So we created a four ship flight from taking off at uh, uh, Kimpo, and uh, the game plan is uh, to first take out the SA3, which protects Heiju, and then uh, the first element uh, uh, engages the runways after the SA3 is done. Pretty easy game plan, but uh, uh, yeah, very, very uh, fun to fly. Uh, but let's uh, do it a little bit more crazy. Um, let's say, uh, okay, right now we don't need any support units, we don't need a tanker, we don't need AWACS. Uh, but let's change game plan. So first of all, uh, we don't fly back to uh, Kimpo because for whatever reason we have to fly back uh, to um, Kunsan for example so you can be creative in your briefing for whatever reason uh, um, that's the game plan so uh, the easy it's e pretty easily done so you just select the latest or the last steer point in your in your route uh, drop it from the original airport drop it to the new one which is in our case Kunsan zoom a little bit in drop it over that's it. So you see now uh, we are land there in Kunsan. <clears throat> now uh, we have a much bigger route, so to say, and uh, fuel could be an issue um, when we have some engagements here and burn a lot of fuel, so that's uh, possible. Um, let's go with the tanker. Okay, first, um, the tanker track, uh, I would say, okay, this this is a good area uh, to, to position the tanker. Uh, same procedure. Click on the position where you want to have it, click on add package and the new thing that I, uh, is now introduced, we don't uh, set the takeoff time, we set the time over target or time on target time. So we, right now it's one Zulu and I want to have that tanker on station from now, from, uh, yeah, from now on the next five hours, so to say. So um, we select our tanker, uh, let's say a KC-10. Uh, just one of them and I don't care about uh, where he takes off uh, as long as he didn't conflict with uh, my uh, airport so it's uh, Chengzhou airbase all is good uh, I click OK I also give him a little bit of uh, a support unit uh, to pro protect him uh, let's go and give him a two ship uh, block 50s which secure the area for the tanker. So let's uh, go to block 50, then select half cap. So half cap is the task to secure important units in the uh, uh, theater, so to say. Um, we have uh, that selected. This is the same squadron that my flight is going. And uh, the target uh, for the half cap flight is copper free, which is a core sign of the tanker. So they are their job is to protect copper free, okay? pretty easy so this package is created and uh, we click OK so now you see uh, those guys are already here um, let's uh, define the tanker track a little bit better um, because I come or, or I fly from Kimpo to Heiju and fly then south uh, east bound um, I want to have that tanker track a little bit more fitting to my route, so to say. I, so I want to define this tanker track is from, uh, let's see, uh, uh, northwest to southeast. So that matches a little bit more to my route and I don't have to fly that far to go to the tanker, okay? Which is important when you change the tanker track, uh, is uh, one thing. So when you, uh, so those both steer points are our, or the tanking area, uh, for the tanker, so his task is uh, to to 
support or get uh, uh, yeah give fuel to whatever to whoever needs it um, to make this th thing uh, working right <coughs> Uh, you have to uh, make sure that the tanker track is greater than 50 miles, okay? You see a little distance uh, here, so right now it's 53, which is okay, so let set it 50.4, that's pretty pretty good. So, um, uh, so this way the tanker works definitely, okay? Uh, also, we, uh, uh, let's say, uh, the half cap uh, route is uh, maybe, we, we uh, yeah, uh, give it also the same direction like an uh, north uh, west to southeast cap area so that way uh, this area is uh, yeah more in focus uh, again uh, so uh, yeah you have to keep in mind so what makes sense where's the threat uh, what's the game plan what are the possibilities so when you when you uh, uh, frag a mission it's uh, always good to to uh, think about both sides and think about what can happen or what is cool to happen so you are the 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 owner of your mission here so you can do whatever you want and entertain others and have fun okay um what I want to do next is uh, the same thing that we did for the SA3. So uh, it is uh, possible uh, to create an, uh, so to say, uh, um, yeah, uh, PPT again for the tanker track. So again, this is a pre planned threat point. Uh, um, and we get, can define there, uh, okay. This is uh, about the tanker position, okay? Uh, so if I'm, so, so think about when I'm uh, in battle or after the battle, I'm totally task saturated I, and I wanna have pretty quick the info or the visual uh, information where I have to fly uh, uh, if my uh, route is different, so to say, so where I have to fly to find the tanker. Um, yeah, that's uh, always good to, to implement and little tools, little little help, little little markers, you know, for to to, to your fly leads or whoever needs it to give a little bit better overview in uh, your systems later. Okay, uh, even uh, when a lot of guys now say, "Why you have a tanker? Do you land there? It's about 30 miles. I don't care. It's it's just you know, it's just a, 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 a yeah." It's just to show uh, how you can do it. Okay, um, let's say also we introduce an AWACS flight. Um, we do that same packet, uh, same procedure at package, time on target, select the uh, sentry. And one of the, these, there we go, and boom. So. Now we have a sentry or an AWACS on station because uh, we make it a little bit more complicated. And let's say this is our target area. We um, introduce some threats there. So let's see, uh, we have uh, also an AWACS there, an enemy AWACS in a 50. Uh, and those guy also gets an half cap with uh, uh, let's say uh, big 31 that's a good interceptor so uh, it's half cap two ship and his target is entry five which is correct so <clears throat> now uh, we have an uh, half cap there uh, which is dangerous close to our uh, target area but that's real life that can happen uh, and also we have the, the uh, avex uh, track there so um, for sure, this brings us a little bit more uh, in, in trouble, so we have to modify maybe our game plan a little bit in terms of, okay, a four ship just isn't, isn't enough, we need one flight more to protect the, the Oka strikers and uh, uh, yeah, the guys who, uh, whose task is to take out the airport, but uh, that's okay for now. Um, uh, uh, the next thing that I would say is uh, we save this mission as it is and um, we go to our 2D map. Okay, so again, what I maybe missed in part one to mention uh, um, when you um, want to introduce new units to your mission, so the TE builder is the way to go. When you want to modify certain information like loadout, like routes, 
uh, uh, the 2D map is the way to do. So 2D map is you go to the mission, uh, click on commit, and that's basically your, your 2D map. It's basically basically the same like TE Builder, but uh, uh, to me this is uh, this has a little bit better overview. Again, I mentioned that in part one, but uh, uh, yeah, maybe it wasn't clear enough. So. Um, Again, uh, I want to modify my fly plan from my Oka Strike first because it's not ideal yet. So I want to fly over water as uh, long as possible and as, as low as possible because I have no interest uh, that the radar finds me uh, or the search radars of the enemy finds me. Uh, let's see, okay, um, so right now uh, the game plan is we take off uh, then climb to to uh, 4,500 feet, climb more, and then climb at steer 5 to 17,000, which doesn't make sense uh, because uh, we are doing an Oka, Oka strike, so we have to be low level all the time. All right, listen up. Um, so let's change that first and quick. So let's say, okay, uh, we stay at 100 feet all the time. Let's go for it. I always recommend to, to modify your steer points in the uh, uh, TE Builder or in the 2D map because it's way easier and way quicker. Uh, okay, that's not bad. And it's tier 8, they can climb to save some uh, some uh, fuel and because uh, their tanker is there, so that, that, that makes sense. Okay, now I modified my uh, altitudes right, and uh, this should be also changed here in the steer point, so that's correct. I also can uh, modify speeds if I want, so if uh, uh, so, you, there's a thing in BMS which is named carrot, so you can uh, see if you are on time and fly it through the right timing, which is uh, uh, given by the route and by the planning, but that's, uh, yeah. Different topic, um, let's say um, at steer 4 uh, we will increase speed to 500 knots because uh, the faster you are, the faster you are out of the target area and maybe this, yeah, you get a better chance to survive. And uh, steer 6 also 500 knots, skate test and also here. So you see when I modify the... Uh, the uh, the speeds, I, the, the times over steer point also uh, changes, okay, which is uh, quite uh, important. Um, okay, let's see, loadout is good. Um, again, uh, let's see, no, loadout is not good. Uh, somehow it didn't save from the last time, but now we have our, again, our mixed loadout that works. And that's that. So we modified uh, uh, our uh, yeah route, so to say. We implemented some threats. Uh, we implemented some support units, uh, and that's basically a ready mission. So that from then you can basically fly. Okay, but uh, there's more to uh, edit, or more, more possibilities to edit, and more uh, stuff. You can uh, get an idea, uh, or so, what is uh, changeable, so to say. Because uh, the TUD and TE builder is a little bit limited in those possibilities. Uh, the there's a tool called uh, Mission Command. Okay. Uh, where to find it? You go on uh, weapondeliveryplanner.nl. So I uh, mentioned this link also in the description. You go to download and you basically find Mission Commander here. So uh, also it's recommended to download the Weapon Delivery Planner to Weather Commander for later videos, but for now we only concentrate on Mission Commander. And uh, I already downloaded it, so it's a simple installation with uh, extraction, so I don't do it right now. Uh, let's go and open Mission Commander here in a second. So time for coffee. Okay, this is uh, Mission Commander, uh, um, so there's a lot of options, a lot of stuff, so I don't want to get in detail in uh, most of this stuff, but uh, um, why you need that tool uh, to define every detail, any information in your flight, in your theater, whatever, um, which is great. 
so uh, let's open that uh, mission that we created okay so we open test YouTube <clears throat> take some seconds blah 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 um, okay here we go first uh, what I wanna uh, talk about is uh, the teams thing so maybe you remember we talked about teams in part one and uh, uh, you cannot change relations in 2D. So, for example, I want to uh, make sure that uh, North and South Korea are enemies or friends. You can change any relation you want. So you go to team and then you go to relations. And in our case, uh, so we are the rock team. So, uh, yeah, so we are the rock team. And you see now which uh, the relations are between the nations. So US is our Elliot, uh, Japan, same. And we are at war with Russia, uh, uh, North Korea, and uh, yeah, uh, um, yeah, correct. So you see, okay, this uh, this is correct. So uh, that means uh, we can uh, go to fight, uh, but you can change it to your desire, so to say. And we you can do the same for DPR DPRK. So you see, okay, those guys are allied, and those guys are at war. So you you can change it pretty easily, okay. Uh, the next thing I want to mention is uh, a quite cool overview of all units which are in the theater so far. So you see here a list of all uh, um, squadrons, of all flights and so on and so forth. So you can define it a little bit better, just check now these squadrons, okay? So you can uh, sort it by like by squadron, by each package, even by each flight. So when you create a lot, a big mission, this is our, this is crazy. So uh, you can uh, check uh, battalions, you can check uh, uh, whatever ships, uh, and so on. So let's concentrate on our squadron. So this is our squadron, which is uh, right now uh, at Kimpo, and uh, the call sign or the the squadron name is 1990s. Uh, uh, whatever this name is okay um, I clicked on that squadron name and now you can uh, you have a lot of information uh, um, what you, what you can modify so to say um, first of all let's change the name to whatever you prefer I don't know 555 triple nickel why would you ever do that so I, I like this uh, squadron patch so you can uh, change the squadron patch for example uh, to the till you find your one you want to have um, you can also change uh, the loadout so uh, for example uh, when you uh, want to uh, have uh, 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 for example uh, it's not allowed uh, for a mission to use mavericks so you can for example set all amounts of mavericks to zero so you can modify a lot of stuff to make sure the mission is a little bit harder or, or whatever or you can block certain weapons uh, that's uh, fun stuff but um, for now that's enough to manipulate you again there's a hundred or thousand things more to manip manipulate but that's totally fine so when you did any changes uh, click apply and click save okay now we saved our squadron to 555 and um, made a patch change uh, and so on and so forth that's uh, good for now okay let's go to the uh, ground units uh, so again we have the sa3 there at the teju uh, heiju and um, same thing you can see okay what's the task of this uh, air defense right now uh, the orders are uh, air defense uh, so so their job is to defend uh, heiju air base okay you can also say okay defend uh, whatever you you prefer uh, um yeah but that's uh yeah so so this, this is uh right set so to say you can make sure if uh, something didn't work in your mission you can go to your units and check okay what's the task uh, is it right uh, or is it wrong also you can uh, check or uncheck certain um, uh, certain uh, units so to make the mission a little, little bit har uh, harder or softer you can say uh, okay i delete that sa14 so uh, there is no um uh, man pads in the area for example to make it a little bit easier for the ogre strikes to survive so to say um yeah that's uh, that um 
so the the rest is pretty advanced stuff i would say uh when you want to manip man manipulate uh, bms a little bit more heavy or manipulate a campaign so this tool is endless really so you can create basically a new campaign with it uh, which is crazy but uh, that's uh, not part of this video uh yeah so uh, let's what we have more um yeah again uh, you can also select flights uh so we are right now uh, this flight here uh, which was uh, jager 4 and uh, let's check out what we can change in the uh, when we click on here on flight so you can change uh, again your flight path your holding points whatever but i always recommend to do it in bms uh, and don't change your steer point or route here because sometimes it creates trouble but what you can change here is uh, the amount of aircraft your call signs uh, the, your laser codes your whatever names uh, you name it you can even change the aircraft if you want to say okay block 50 is right uh, let's switch it to whatever uh, you want um, uh, but for now this is quite okay everything so you see all the, the loadout here so we have to split our loadout and uh, that's that so you, you have to take your time to fiddle around with that uh, but when we're done uh, you can save uh, and then you uh, should reopen uh, this mission because it's now overwritten so to say and uh, yeah, that's it. So now you're able to fly, uh, but uh, there's more stuff to modify and to 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 uh, to make it more realistic. Um, but that's for part three. In part three, we talk about we will talk about um, weather and weather tools and how to manipulate it. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was interesting and a uh, lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I always refer the documentation. So if you have questions. Go uh, search the documentation, write a comment, go to the forum. There's always support. So, um, yeah, see you uh, in part three and uh, take care. Bye.